Hey guys, welcome to this episode of The Rachel Cruz Show. So it's no secret that the older we get, the more life experience we gain. And you hear a lot of people talk a lot about what they learned in their 20s and their 30s. So I figured I would take that conversation a step further and share four money habits that everyone should master before 40. And I'm curious which of these things that you're already doing and which ones you may want to start doing. So right now I'm in my mid-30s and it's one of my favorite seasons of life right now. Yep. So I think I spend way less time caring about what other people think of me than I used to. And I finally got into a rhythm of making wise choices for myself and my family and my money without comparison and like what the world is saying. I really truly have gotten confident and like this is what I, this is how I'm doing life and I love it. And I'll tell you, all of the money habits that we're gonna talk about come as a result of that. So the first habit that everyone should master before they're 40 is to live on less than you make. So you guys, this is not a crazy concept, but it is. So this idea that you don't need to spend everything you make or spend more than that and take on debt. So in order to do this, one of the best places to start is a budget to help you see where your income is. Because in order to live on less than you make, you have to be able to have a plan to know, okay, where is my money going? And a budget does this. And that is what is so great because it is a plan for your money. So you wanna take your income for the month minus all of your expenses, including giving and saving, should equal zero. So every dollar of your income that's coming in is assigned to a category. Now, savings is in there. So again, you're gonna not spend everything, you're gonna have some buffer, but you're able to see, okay, this is exactly where my money's going, and that is so key. All right, the second money habit that everyone should master before they're 40 is minimalistic thinking. So now this is obviously more than just a mindset, but it's been a game changer for me in the recent years. Because learning that my quality of life is not equated to the quality or quantity of the stuff that I own is really important because we can live like a rat in a wheel where we think the more stuff we have, the bigger, the better. Our life is gonna be better because of it. And it turns out that stuff just keeps getting old or breaks or you want the newest thing after the thing you bought that was new and you just keep living in this wheel, when you suddenly realize, okay, this stuff is not gonna fulfill me like I think it would. Now, I know we've heard this example so often, but if you've traveled anywhere outside the United States and you see some level of poverty, which there is poverty inside the United States for sure, but if you especially go to something like a third world country and you start to see how other places in the world live besides just the United States, you're able to see, yeah, they live on way less than what we have. I mean. To the nth degree, it is wild, but you also see that they are so much more content. They have so much joy in their lives. And it always makes you wonder, okay, if we're wanting more and more and more, and we're spending our life and our money on more and more and more, but we're not getting happier or more joyful, hmm, I wonder if there's a problem. Yes. And I would say that there is because we put so much of our value in stuff, you guys. And stuff is not bad. I always say it's okay to have nice stuff. Just don't let your nice stuff have you. But the thing is, in American culture specifically, it has us, it has our identity, and we wanna break that. So I'd say to start practicing gratitude for what you have. And I'm telling you, then this all gets easier because you're able to trim out the excess that you don't need. You're able to say, yes, I can buy some stuff. It's in the budget and it's fun and that's great. We're not mad at stuff, but it's not gonna be the thing that I find my joy from. That is not my source of joy is this thing because it won't. Yes, stuff can be fun again, but we have to be so careful to watch the value that we place in our stuff. All right, before I share some other money habits, I wanna tell you about Telestrations. So Telestrations is a really fun board game. And if you are someone who's getting out of debt or you're trying to save up for an emergency fund, you're cutting expenses, you're not paying to go out and about on the town and you're home, playing a game with your friends and family can create a really fun, entertaining night with a lot of memories. And Telestrations is one of the best games to do it. It's really easy to learn and you're able to have a lot of fun socially, which is what I love about it. You can still talk and enjoy the night while playing a game. And it's a great icebreaker. If there's people around that you don't know very well, y'all all sit around and chat, have a glass of wine, play Telestrations, and it will be a really fun night. So you can buy Telestrations at Walmart or wherever you buy board games. 
All right, the third money habit that everyone should master before they're 40 is budgeting. So I mentioned this earlier on living less than you make, but budgeting is so key, you guys. And I am a spender. I'm a natural free spirit. So the idea of budgeting for me was always this like, whoa, it feels like it sucks the fun out of life. But I have learned that a budget is permission to spend. A budget does not limit my freedom. A budget gives me freedom. It gives me control over my money and I know exactly what's going on. I have Every Dollar Premium, which is our budgeting app, and it attaches to my bank account. So I get transactions in every day, like today. I had four transactions when I woke up this morning and I drag and drop them. One was our cable, because we still pay for cable. My husband hates it, but I can't let go of it. Put it in cable. Uh, we had an out to eat and we had a grocery and then we had an Amazon. And I went and looked and it was batteries for our house. So I put it in our house category. But I know exactly where our money's going, the categories where we wanna spend, what's left in each category. And it just makes life so peaceful because it's organized and you know what's going on. So that is what a budget does. A budget gives you the ability to say, hey, I'm in control. I get to tell my income where to go. And there's no questions asked. There's no guilt. There's no shame. There's no stress over, is this okay that I'm spending this money here? It's already answered because if you have the money in the budget in that category, you get to spend it. All right, the fourth money habit that everyone should master before they're 40 is breaking generational money cycles and habits. So listen, we are all human, you guys, which means we are constantly making mistakes. And sometimes our money mistakes get passed along to our peers or passed down to our kids. But hopefully by the time you are in adulthood, you've learned to call out some of those bad behaviors and change them. Maybe like teaching your kids to practice gratitude or learn contentment or showing them how to earn money on a commission versus giving them allowance. Learning that, yeah, we're not gonna shop every time we're stressed. We're gonna be people that are delayed gratification is a key part of our lives, which means mom and dad want this thing or mom wants that, but we don't have the money for it. So we're gonna save for it and you're gonna watch us save. And so you're able to practice good money habits and more is caught than taught. And so your kids are watching and it's a beautiful gift to give your kids great money habits, not just handing them money, right? You don't wanna create these like entitled little monsters, but you want to say, here's how you handle money. And yes, if I'm able to leave you a legacy where you have the character to handle it, what a beautiful thing for them to change their lives and their kids' lives and be generous with it with people in their community. It's a beautiful thing. So those are four habits that have been life-changing for me over the last two decades. And like I said earlier, I'm really curious about what yours are. So leave a comment and tell me which money habits have been helpful for you to master early in life. And send this video to a friend who might wanna give a few of these a try. And as always, you guys, remember to take control of your money and create a life you love. 